state's booming economy is going to give state lawmakers more money to spend during the next two year budget. The new state legislative session will begin tomorrow. Lawmakers will have five months to hammer out the details about how we spend this money. Political reporter Jack Fink live for us in the Capitol today with a look at what this all means. Jack? Well, Doug, the Texas Comptroller, Glenn Hagar, did have some good news for state lawmakers who are going to be sworn in here at the Capitol tomorrow. Hager announced that the state legislature will have more than $119 billion in general revenue to spend during the 2020-2021 budget. That's an 8% increase from the amount of money available to the legislature during the current 2018-2019 budget. And the state savings account, the so-called rainy day fund, at the end of August will have about $12.5 billion, and that is expected to grow to nearly $15.5 billion by the end of the 2020-21 budget year. And so that's before the legislature will decide how to spend some of that money. Republicans and Democrats in the legislature I spoke with today were beaming about the economy, especially because it will help them focus on two major issues this legislative session making sure the state uses more of its sales tax and other revenue to pay for public schools and increase the amount of money being spent for teachers and increasing student performance. The other issue, lower property taxes. What the, the revenue estimate shows us is that our state's economy is strong, it's robust, it's growing. Um, that's, a, that's a good um, position for us to be in as we face some, some pretty big budget decisions this session. Well, having more revenue, yes, good. Absolutely a good thing, and I'm hopeful that we will allocate some of that revenue increase to increasing the state commitment to public education, be able to reduce the local tax-driven um, portion of what we spend on public education. Now, both Governor Greg Abbott and Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick issued statements today praising the new revenue estimates from the Texas Comptroller and saying that they are committed to tackling school finance reform and lowering property taxes. But we will dig deep at 5 o'clock uh, on really how the state could change the way it pays for its K-12 public schools. For now, we're live in Austin. Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.